It's never the situation that is the cause of your unhappiness, but how you're thinking about it. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we talk about a few common daily habits that lead you to be unhappy. Enjoy. Sometimes sadness is unexplainable. A person could become unhappy for reasons they can't explain. At times, life situations can be unbearable, and it becomes inevitable to sink into the pit of sadness. While depression and psychological issues should never be overlooked, there are some other causes of sadness that you can control. Here's a list of things that can cause you unhappiness and some simple tricks you can use to subdue them and put the smile back on your face. Number one, you constantly worry. Worrying doesn't solve any problems. Instead, it gets you too worked up and disorganized to think of a solution. When you worry a lot, fear and pessimism begin to build up inside you and you start to think that every step you take will have a negative effect. You need to channel your energy away from worrying by letting your fears go. Worrying less will allow you to begin to feel happy again and that's when your mind will become clear enough to figure out a solution to any problem you may be facing. Number two, you believe everyone should play by your rules. The world does not revolve around you, and the sooner you realize this, the happier you will be. No one owes you any preferential treatment, and you shouldn't expect anyone to live by your standards and beliefs. People chase shadows by trying to make everyone align with and live by their ideologies. This always causes frustration, because controlling others is one of the most challenging things to do. To live a happy life, learn to accept others the way they are. Appreciate the diversity of human ideals and behaviors, and stop taking people's actions to heart. Number three, you choose to be happy only when all of your dreams come true. One mistake people often make is to base their happiness on something they expect to happen to them in the future, rather than enjoying the things they have right now. While having lofty dreams is great, allowing your happiness to be solely dependent on achieving those dreams could cost you the joy of living in the present. Learn to live in the here and now. Appreciate the beauty around you today while working on achieving those amazing goals you've lined up for the future. Number four, you are a glass half empty person. A glass half empty person is a person who's more focused on the negative parts of their life without paying attention to the positive parts. This kind of person will never know happiness because their pessimism overwhelms every good thing around them. When you shift your focus away from the negative and appreciate the positive things, you will begin to feel much happier. Number five, you don't make time for the right things. It's human nature to lose track of time and get distracted every now and then, but it pays to prioritize and make time for the things that really matter. One really good hack for time management is to make a list of your proposed daily activities. On that list, select the most important things that will give you fulfillment when you achieve them. Eliminate as many of the unimportant things as possible and focus your time and energy on the things that matter most. Number six, you haven't discovered your purpose. A lot of people live from day to day without a defined purpose. They wake up every morning and continue the same daily routine and this makes them feel like they're not moving ahead in life. It gets even worse when you're doing a job you don't like. Fortunately, you can get out of that dark world of unhappiness when you discover your purpose and start working on it. At first, it may seem challenging to move away from your routine and start working towards something new, but you'll find a lot of joy in doing the things that make you feel fulfilled. Number seven, you're dependent. Although life can seem more comfortable when you're dependent on other people, it can become an inconvenience when you have to live according to the dictates of those you depend on. Being independent will not only make you much happier, but it will also boost your self-esteem and give you a sense of freedom. Number eight, you're unhealthy. A healthy body leads to a sound and happy mind. Prioritizing your health will make you glow and keep you feeling more refreshed and happier. Eat healthy meals, exercise more often, get good sleep, and have a generally healthy approach to life. Number 9. You hold grudges. It's been said that holding a grudge is just like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die. Resentments build up negative energy. So forgive people who offend you, set your mind free, and be happy. Because ironically, that person who hurt you may be out having a good time while you stay riled up in bitterness. 
Number 10. You're a perfectionist. There are three types of perfectionists. 1. The self-perfectionist who expects to be perfect in all they do. 2. The social perfectionist who believes others expect them to be perfect. And 3. The other perfectionist who expects others to be perfect. No matter which category you fall into, perfectionism can be a real happiness buster. People are bound to fall short, so expecting perfection from yourself or others will only cause you disappointment. Number 11. You're bored. Boredom is another culprit that causes unhappiness. Technological inventions, ease of modern living, and excessive safety regulations are gradually erasing the place of adventure and the fun it brings. Due to these changing times, many people have a hard time finding ways to have fun. But there are many ways to overcome boredom. You just have to be a bit more open-minded and do things that scare you enough to wake you up to the amazing adventures life has to offer. Number 12. You're too busy. There are many things you can do that take up your time, but don't take you anywhere. Being too preoccupied with many different things can make you feel like happiness is just out of reach. So instead of just being busy, learn to focus on being effective. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on the platform you're listening on. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.